What's up YouTube, it's John, John Rollins, John Rollins Mansress, bringing you all the sights of Wrexham today. Yep, I'm at the bus station. <laughs> We're gonna go for a walk around Wrexham from the bus station with my fantastic new iPhone 11, which I'm hoping gives better picture and sound quality. Although what I should do is wear my uh, ear pods, I keep forgetting to do that, then there is a risk of me putting my finger over the uh, speaker. So, at the bus station, eight stands is a fact apparently, that keeps popping up whenever I was uh, googling it. It was built in 2003, 2003 even, and in 2013 it had one point four million pounds spent on it to improve it and uh, it had another grant a couple of years ago apparently to improve it um now i have seen things about the bus station and uh, apparently you know, a bit of a drug problem and stuff like that but i think you'd get that in any town i don't think rexham's especially especially any worse than other places and then if we can tack it from the other side if you're interested in buses <laughs> you can see the buses and uh, there is a place that I could have put in my pubs of Wrexham it used to be a pub with a car sticking outside a car sticking to the roof what's it called? something crazy and now it's an Indian restaurant in a lovely grey colour so there you go there's the Wrexham bus station and um, obviously if you know Wrexham I reckon you can predict where I'm going Okay, so there's the new police station. Now, I don't want to get in trouble by uh, filming the police station, so I'm going to uh, be a bit careful walking around. If I saw a police person, I would ask where um, it's safe to uh, film from without getting in trouble. But I do see videos on YouTube where people purposely film police stations, I think in the hope of getting in trouble, just to make an interesting video. So there you go, there's the new police station, which is adjacent to the library. Used to be an art gallery. And that's been there since May 2019. So there's the library. And like I say, I wouldn't want to get in trouble for filming the gate of the police station and getting any veg plates or anything, but there's 100 police officers there apparently and that, that's the library we're next to yes yeah, so there's 100 police officers in that town centre station then the main one is in fly now that's a regional HQ I believe I'll go a bit quiet as so I walk past people or I'll edit after And there's the council buildings. I think that's where the uh, the mayor hangs out. And there's a bandstand where they got it covered up for the old social distancing. And there's a small park here. Council buildings. Other side of the library. Over there is where the police station used to be. A horrible tower thing. And there's, look at that, groovy little uh, old fashioned sign. And that's the new police station. I'm trying to find the cost of how much these things cost, but not everything will give you a cost on the internet. And there's, like I say, college camp for you next to it. And then I'm just going to wrap this up by walking towards the swing bus. Now I believe 
over the road there is a COVID testing centre. Which doesn't look very busy, ever. And that's what I was just going to get in. The crazy, uh, the crazy top of our... So that's where the police station used to be, over there, where I filmed when that came down. Uh, signs to the COVID test centre. And there's our swimming baths, which I keep assuming is shut. I mean, the gym could be open. I don't suppose the swimming baths are going to be open. Let's see if I can get a walk around there. Well, I tell you, Rex and Swim Bath was built in 2017. 2017. <laughs> 1970. That's what you get for walking around with your post-it notes. Built in 1970, refurbished in 1998. I couldn't find a cost of how much it was to build, but some people weren't very happy with the controversial shape of it. I'll try and walk around the side of it. You'll see what I mean. It looks like <laughs> it looks like a skate park from certain angles, and uh, yeah, I think the, the crazy shape made it expensive to build. And now I'll pick which of those amazing places, the bus station or the police station, or the swim baths. I'll pick one of those for the thumbnail. Probably be the, uh, probably be the bath, I think. So there you go, let's walk around to the other side and I'll try and get the, uh, try and get the shape of the roof in for you. Not sure how interesting it is because if if you're watching this, there's a chance you're from Wrexham and you've probably seen it. If you're not from Wrexham, you'll probably think what a ridiculous, uh, what a ridiculous shape for a building. And I keep wondering how long it's going to take from to tidy up where the police station used to be because that will be a clean up operation now. I mean, right, looking like a skate park. And that is the Wrexham Swim Baths, which I've obviously been to many times with my children because kids love swimming, which is good. And uh, I actually thoroughly recommend. I'll do that in one of my uh, dad's dress videos. I do recommend going swimming with the kids, but that's not what this one is about. Hope you enjoy my videos. If you'd uh, subscribe, I'm amazed how many people watch to the end. Whenever I work it out, the percentages, even the videos that don't get many views, people are watching them to the end and it all adds to the watch time. Um, I'm planning on donating to charity when the channel makes money because I thought I'll keep going until hopefully it does. And uh, check out my other videos on Rex and Pubs. They are doing really well. Right, don't be stressed out guys, let me do it for you. Take care everybody. Cheers. That's absolutely freezing this Saturday morning. <laughs>